Okay, let's take a look of the set of all the positive integers. In notation, I will write this down as z. And because I just want to have the positive integers, so let me put plus right here. So this right here is just the set of all the positive integers. Namely, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so on, so on, so on, right? And as we take a look of this, it's also a well-known fact that an integer is either even or odd. So if you look at this, if you want to ask yourself, what percent of the positive integers is even? Well, we know this right here is just going to give us one half or 50 percent, right? Okay, how about the following? First of all, you guys should agree with me that this is a way to list out all the positive integers, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and so on, so on, so on. How about if I take a look of the set of the integers this way? Let me write it down as the following. Let me put down 1, and then 3, and then 2. Okay, so 1, 3, 2. And then I'll put down 5, and then 7, and then 4. So far, you see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 is coming out, don't, don't worry. 5, 7. If you want to have the, the 6, you'll see. What should I put on next? I will have to put on 9, 11, and then 6, right? So based on this, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8 is somewhere here, right? I mean, 7 and then 8, and then 9, and then 10, and then 11, and so on, so on, so on. And if you really would like, let me just do a few more for you guys. The next one will be 13, and then 15, and then here is the 8. And I will just keep the same pattern like this, go on forever. And you guys should also agree with me that this right here is a set of all the positive integers, right? Because I can list them out like this. And now, if you take a look of this list right here, what percent of the positive integer is even now? The answer to this right here is not one half anymore. Because if you can take a look right here, the first three numbers, you see, this is odd, this is odd, this is even. So we only have a third of the numbers is even, right? And likewise, if you look at the next three numbers, only one of them is even. And likewise, the next three, only this one's even, and likewise, the next three, only this one is even. If you go back to the original, the reason that this was one half is because Okay, you have 1, 2. 2 was even, so you know, this out of two numbers is even, so that's 1 half. And then 3, 4. This right here was even, right? This was even, that was even. 1 out of 2 is even, and of course 5 and 6, this is also even, 1 out of 2. So from here, the percent or the fraction of the even numbers is just 1 half. But if you look at this right here, the only even numbers are right here, right here, right here, right here, and seems like the percent of all the even numbers is one-third. And of course, the rest, which is two-thirds of the past integers, will be odd, right? Huh, so what's going on? And I know you can keep this, you know, keep doing this kind of pattern and things like that, and at some point, you can also argue there's, in fact, there's no even numbers at all. But the point of this video is to create arguments for the comment sections. Anyway, that's it.